Hello guys, well, looks like IOTA did not wait to handle out. Uh, apparently it just, it broke out pretty much after I made my last video. So, what we have is a, kind of what I was hoping for is a massive volume bar over this breakout level of, of approximately 60, I'm just going to call it 60 for, just for fun, eh, 61, whatever. But a massive breakout bar, I know I was hoping for a volume kind of about here, but this is a much, much better sign. Unfortunately, we did have some selling in here. You really don't want to see that right after or on the day of a breakout. But the fact that it did, this day bar did close above, you know, all these prior highs is bullish within itself. We're going to have, you know, we're going to see what happens today in the next couple of days. I mean, it's probably not going to be like a, a huge breakout. It's probably going to float up instead of, you know, completely break up. But you never know, especially with those with these cryptocurrencies, they're they're kind of all over the place. So, so what we have is a broken out iota. Is it too late to get in? I don't think it's too late to get in. I think you. I think it's it may pull back a little bit. Um, if you buy now, you're you're going to have some what what are called paper losses, losses that you haven't realized yet, um, and then you, it's it's probably going to go up. I think one of the good things about cryptocurrencies too, and I was thinking about this today. You're so early into the cryptocurrency game that almost any good cryptocurrency. Now, keep in mind, if you go to CoinMarketCap.com, I think they have 380 cryptocurrencies. Last time that I paid attention, I'm gonna say there's probably only 20 of those that are extremely high quality cryptocurrencies, and odds are all of those 20 are going to be, you know, worth more. In the in the future, in a year, in two years. So, if your if your plan is to make money, you know, day trading these and and uh, trading in and out different currencies, then yeah, you may not want to get an iota right here. You may want to wait until it until it breaks this. Or if you're looking for a shorter term entry, then you can drill down. And, oh, that was a daily chart. If I didn't, I don't think I said that before. That was a daily chart. You can break down to the two hours or the hourly chart. <clears throat> um, you know, one thing you can see here, now that we're in, in the day, and I was watching this as it was happening, it was a little scary. And I mentioned that with when we were going over, I think it was uh, OMG or Pay, I forget, that it can get a little scary when these things sell off, right? Because this came down below $60 if you look here. It came down and, and came down. Look at this huge volume spike. And I'll say this one thing about huge volume spikes. They tend to be the end of a move, okay? doesn't mean forever and all time just means the end of that particular move so I took this large volume spike as the end of this down movement which I mean so far it is it could could continue further in but I hope that doesn't happen so uh, if you're looking to go long iota here I would wait in, until the volume kind of slows down a little bit wait till you get a volume pop somewhere above this level you're gonna see this kind of see it came up here and flagged out and then boom popped over here again see this would be a good time to buy over this consolidation just like just like this one or this one would be a good time to buy over this consolidation you're gonna see the same thing with this consolidation too now if you notice here this looks like this is a day this is a day so th these consolidations seem to take about two to three days we may see something like this before we get another leg up one good sign is it never closed never went below this prior high even during that large volume sell-off, which is kind of nice. This thing is stair-stepping step, up nicely. Almost reminds me of an ascending base. I'm not going to get into that, but just kind of, you know, kind of looks like it. The breakout here, it didn't go as I planned. I was hoping it was going to go go up higher. Based on it being up here at $70, I was really wishing it was going to, gonna, you know, push up close towards the high here and uh, continue on. But it did close in the top top range for this day bar which in the end is really all you can ask for so there's my um, quick review of iota and what happened yesterday looks like our handle was just one day <laughs> we didn't get much of a handle um, anyway guys any questions I'll see you in the chat have a good one happy trading